Oh god, leave, leave now. Leave. You have a manner of irresistible desperation about you. I like it. There it is. The Blade of Frontiers. I don't think we softer than a whisper. I don't think we found out that he's a vampire yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. Okay, um Which means we have not done enough long rest. But let's let's uh do a couple more things first before we perform another long rest. I think we haven't talked to everything, everyone in the, uh, yeah, we haven't found Net yet. So let's go down to the Druid's Grove. Please, let's through. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back. Ugh! Let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! You know what? Because I haven't played this game for two months, I actually forgot that I haven't been down here yet. Damn it. We could have taken those gods. <laughs> I forgot that we actually haven't been down here yet. I started this game in patch 4. It's like patch 5 point something now. I forgot. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a sacred relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. I'm glad Esther is having fun. Um, she's just a child. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. Esther disapproves. I thought you're excited to meet Arabella. Come on. Let's talk to them. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. I haven't actually found out about the ritual yet. I'll oh, save the refugees, Kaga. I don't think I've talked to. Uh, because that what's his name? So I forgot his well name. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Mm. Calm, Magrin. Give him a chance. You get back. Why? What's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Korga's orders. I'm not looking for trouble. Can you just let me by? I'm looking for Nettie. No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh? Are you sure, Mino? 
Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. Okay. Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove or face our claws. Fine, fine. Fun fact, fun fact. He's a rock gnome, right? <laughs> they haven't fixed this yet. So he's a rock gnome that has halfling stats. He has halfling luck as a rock gnome. Wrong, wrong racial stats. Yeah, let's talk to everything in the Druid's Grove. <laughs> I thought you were housing. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate. Oh, a horny boar? How did that even happen? I think it's just, uh, there was some mistake. So he's a halfling. He's a halfling with, uh, He's a gnome with halfling stats, right? There is a halfling somewhere in the grove. Let me let me show you. I'll give it a shot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. How do you remember that you have milked the poison before? Thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite? She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Damn. <laughs> wow. The East Dark Urge options. Flick your eyes to the exit so the child will try to run. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child. But your heart doesn't snap out of it. Hmm. Hmm. Let me save. Let me save first. I'll choose option two. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child. But your heart doesn't snap out of it. Her life matters more than satiating your dark fantasies. You focus. And they're gone. But clearly this child's life is in danger. Hmm. Should I read Kaga's mind? Thirteen. Oh, I just made it. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Oh. I should use that against her, right? You've proven your authority, now prove your mercy. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me! <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin w Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Damn.
<laughs> you don't like Kaga's hairstyle, kill her. Oh my god. Ah, she's trying to have wolves. Oh, she wants to talk though. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. Don't be surprised if I'm reluctant to face any more. Hmm. I'll try to avoid wolves in future where possible. You will. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Hmm. Okay. I support this plan. Kill Kaga. Spotty. I was I was saying like uh uh with what Speckle mentioned, this is Loic. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. So he is a he's a light foot halfling. He has gnome cunning. So my my theory is that they accidentally uh, mixed up Loic's and Mino's uh, racial features, which is why he has gnome cunning and. He has a halfling that has gnome cunning. And Mino is a gnome that has halfling luck. Let's talk to Markoril. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go is a mistake. Damn. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. That Kaga seems dangerous. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Kaga seems happy to rule the Rus. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. If no one's okay for Halsin, I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. No need to fret, I'll find him. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Okay. Come, Silver. Stay close. Silver? Oh! The wolf's name is Silver. Is your? He's yours? My cat's name is Silver. I'm looking for Netty, Wrath. I wish I could offer more assistance. For now, I must keep a close watch on Gorga. I hope to see both you and Halsin again soon. No, I can ask him about Nettie. Oh, I can talk to the toss to Silver. Uh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? People have been doing that to you? Who's been pestering you? I'll teach them a lesson. Silence. Your help is not required. Not by me, at least. Fine. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? A little bit. Hmm. But then again, right? She's trying to protect her own. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First you urge grace. Then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. 
We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Hmm. It seems I'd best speak to Zephlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Okay. Can I talk to the rats? The rat watches your movements but does not speak. Suspicious. What's this? Wellspring Plague. By claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanas, god of nature. Oh, that's a really nice painting. I don't think I've seen that painting before because i have to like rush through the game right i have not had a chance to appreciate all these all these details that's nice there's a book here too can i can i steal it is it stealing oh i can pick it up if you don't mind these are yellow as well okay um Ah, uh, I see, I see, spot here. I getcha, I getcha. It seems I can take the things Rats, here. Please. Well, let me save, just in case. Yeah, that one is red, so I cannot loot these. I cannot, that's a, that's a crime if I take that book. Okay, all these I cannot loot. Oh, there's Netty. I see you. Just give me a moment. Mm, I'll wait. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I'm looking for Netty. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Um, healing as soon as possible. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Hmm. Everything about me is sick. The DC spells, the memory loss. The illiterate parasite. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. You know of them? Can you help me? I. Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Might be. We need to be quick. This way. I'm gonna talk to the bird first. Please. I'm resting. Okay. Okay. Um Something took a chunk out of you, what happened? The bird says nothing, trying to rest. Okay, I'll not bother you. I'll leave. Okay. Head on in. Okay. Yeah, Degira. There's something in that vessel. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Hmm. The drow and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. Hmm. 
It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'd like to keep an eye on things, thanks. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's the plan? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Uh, it might. What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Hmm. I can merge my mind with anyone else that is infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't I see. have a cure. Only a way out. Damn. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a Mind Flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of Mind Flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You must learn. You must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. I just realized that. Kalak is frozen at the back there. <laughs> uh, that's good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. It's just tracking a pose, <laughs> doing normal collect things, yep. Uh, you think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right. I'll find Halsey. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you what happened out there. But those adventurers were the only witnesses. And they're long gone. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. 
And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. All right. All right. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. I think. But I wouldn't take wyvern poison, even if we do begin to turn. Okay, okay. I think I can take this. More for me. Okay, I cannot take all those. It's all red. So I better not. Yeah, these are all red, except for that mugworth. And there's the cauldron of boiling teriyak. Can I? I can't interact with that. We can read on antidotes. A deep crease in the spine makes the booklet fall open to reveal one recipe in particular. Neat writing in the corners mark it as an antidote for all known poisons. This is it. The recipe that made me decide to publish my notes. The story might not interest you, but I shall record it for posterity. Feel free to skip to the actual recipe. Just want my bed. She's, she wants to sleep. I was sitting in the elf song, sipping my usual hot cocoa, the heat soothing and the pain in my skillless hands. A small child human stumbled through the door, sick as a dog. All the other patrons seemed like they wanted to help, but nobody could pay for an antidote for a stranger's child. Meanwhile, the ingredients were just laying, lying around in the kitchen. Every single one of those people could have saved that child, but only I knew how. It felt like a crime. Recipe for one bottle of antidote. Extracts needed salts of mugwort. Suspension of bullywork trumpet. Method. Slowly trinkle salts into suspension. Stir clockwise until the concoction's consistency turns almost chewable. It might turn slightly green, but this is purely aesthetic and has no effect on the antidote itself. I remember. When in doubt about alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Tries the same ingredient form, forms an extract excellent. Okay. I don't think I could take it. Best not. Okay. There is a quest we could do about Kaga here. Let me see. Okay, he is sitting, Markorel is sitting down there. Let me separate Asterion. Ridiculous. He's still seated. Okay, okay. Over there. Let me save real quick. Uh challenged. Very good, very good. Okay, it's Kaga's chest. Okay, group all. Looking ahead. I think yeah, everything in here is red as well, so we'll they just leave. All be running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh damn, the the things that he just said. <laughs> they should all be running. Curse to put my hands on everything. Dark urge, man. Dark urge. Just dark urge things. Okay, we're out. We're safe. We're out of Kaga's sight. So let's read the let's read the note. Uh, let's read the stuff that uh, Esteran just got. Send send these two to Virens. I've got a long road. Eh? There is the Thaldorn's Canticle, the Shadow Druid's Doctrine. The book's spine is limber from overuse. The corner of one page is folded inwards. Balance is a myth. Where any clan threats, nature struggles. Unity is a fiction. Men of mere flesh seek only to tame beasts and raise flora. We are the thunder and we are the rain. We shatter mankind and grow new life in its place. Sure. There's a half-torn note. A scrap of paper lined with furtive looping notes. The marks crisscrossing the page don't look scribed, 
so much as slash kaga swamp dogs tree meet me alone alone then mm. so what is that about what is that about yeah okay, let's talk to everyone outside here speak uh what were you saying to that bird the bird knows she needs to know you do not fair enough uh i help defend this grove i'm not your enemy oh dear that's fine not all enemies are outside our walls fair enough fair enough yeah, yeah, yeah go talk to all the animals Where's the bird? I don't see a bird though. Not here at least. Can I get those? Oh, I can get the herbs. It's a plant I could touch here. By Sylvanas, the forest father, we are granted balance. Hmm. If not over, then through. Bird is sat in a bowl? There's a bird here. Topaz. Shh, I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Hmm. Um, I could kick at the bird. <laughs> uh, let's do the bard option. Trinkets will rust, friend. A song shines on forever. Give it a try. Ah, uh. <clears throat> he lets out a tentative chirp. Gaining confidence, he starts a song, abandoning his nest building efforts. Nice. Nice. Eh, yeah, he's chirping now. Cute. Can I talk to him again? The bird is singing as loudly as his lungs will allow, practicing fervent. Nice, nice. Can I can I take everything now? I wanna say first. I just saw the bowl on my safe. He made his little nest. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a some stuff in there. I think I could take it now that I made him sing. Shiny key and a gold. A quail. <laughs> no, I'm not stomping the bird, Commissar. I'm not stomping the bird. I'm trying to resist. I'm trying to resist, Commissar. I should speak up. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Could you move just a little bit? I need to use the elevator. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's nice of you. Anything of use? Yeah, you miss a lot of dialogue, but. That's why, but you, then you get a you get some new ones as well if you become a murder hobo. Okay, let's talk to Volo. Yes, yes, I see. And is that her with two hours off? Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Mm. There's a couple of bard options. A 
classic red gang, complete with lasher and a smattering of booyaks. Hi, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. Hmm. The time was spent among books. I'm a student of the page. Uh -huh. I've always preferred experience to the second-hand accounts of lesser men. But to each their own. Now, I've a few more questions, if you don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Uh... <laughs> there are some options here. Dragons? Really? How gauche. Witness declined to comment on nature of dragon. He, he is disapproving. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Hmm. Quite so. They sang the phrase like a battle hymn. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Indeed. Dramatic. How was Maglaviet responded? Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Hmm. Wait, about our conversation earlier. Why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Don't know why I hate Volo. You could say I have an eye for his type. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, uh huh, sure. Let's talk to the yeah. Bosk. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Oh no. <laughs> he is writing fiction. What? What's this? Can I? I can't take that up. Nice. Okay. Let us, let us sit here and read the book. Uh, can I sit? Sit. Okay, let's read the... A Primer on Mythical Beast. Each chapter of this book describes the cultural origins of a different mythological beast. Chapter 5. Miniature Giant Space Hamster. Very little is known about this particular cryptid, though stories say they tend to choose well-muscled human males as their steeds when they deign to visit this plane. According to legends, this creature retains a wellspring of indescribable power, known only to itself, though it provides its steed with perhaps mystical, perhaps mundane courage. Unsubstantiated rumors claim the creature has a taste for human eyes. Sounds like a miniature giant space hamster indeed. Okay, so there's a little thing here that a lot of people don't realize. Oh, I can't. Oh, I think the bear will get angry if I catch, catch those fish. He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Who are you looking for? Hey, you're the saddest bear I've ever seen. This is depressing. Then leave. Oh, but who are you waiting for? Still nothing. Still nothing. Oh, I can't ask him. So there's a thing here. This flat rock that I could click on to sit on. Uh, can I move it? Okay. 
I'm sure the bear won't mind. But let me save just in case. I'm sure the bear won't mind. I'll take that. Yeah. As I thought. The amulet of Sylvanas lesser restoration. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think lesser restoration. She has lesser restoration already. But I guess I could uh, switch out the lesser restoration for something else later. Maybe? Send it to maybe send it to She could use it for now. Don't burn yourself. There. Okay. Alright. What now? On my way. Okay, let's get back up here. Okay, we could go down this way we could go down this way Let me see if there's anything to loot. Although I think there's something on this side. Let's go this way. Such a pretty song. Let's talk to Murkon. Seems like a good moment to talk. in shallow water just a slice of the ankle tendons resist <laughs> resist you shouldn't be standing out in the water it's dangerous don't you hear it it's so peaceful focus and try to hear what he hears a sweet melody plays above the waves beckoning you drowning out all logical thought not you too uh, that was a bad one, focused by singing. There once was a lady who met with the marrow and tried to disclose it to her foolish fellow. Okay, okay it's an easy one at least, it's an easy one. Nice. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. We'll do more performance. Her man would not listen. He thought it all, he thought it tall tales until he rubbed against all of her scales. Ooh. Ouch, my ears. Wait. Why am I wet? Oh. At least we broke uh, Murkron out of his uh, his stupor. But my stupid bar is enchanted. The heck? He failed the test. A friend? No, not a friend. Well, my my bar is a friend now. Uh, we have to we have to stop the singing. No, why are you outside of the range? Come here a bit. Go closer. Stop the singing. Oh god. I didn't manage didn't manage to stop it. Now it's to be barred. What what happened? Okay, he, he resisted. Okay, manage to resist.
Oh god, where is she? Uh, thunder. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Uh, more most important thing do I have? Oh god, I do not have sanctuary. Shit, I don't have sanctuary. No, my god, I can't save you. Shit. I, I, I'll I'll inflict wounds. Uh, let's go. Yes, kill one. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. She, he resisted. Run, run, Macron, run. That's not far enough, Burkhan! Oh god, Shadow Heart. Okay, okay. Uh, can I get there? Can reach destination. Okay, what about now? Not enough movement, shit. Um, okay, running, uh, jumping takes up that much. Okay, now? God damn it, I can't reach. I cannot reach a stupid harpy. Okay, I'll, I'll dash. Jump there. Go in front so she can tank. Okay, Esteran resisted the song. Okay, shoot the one singing. Yes! I broke the song. Yes! I love that the that the combat music for this one, it starts with the echo of the the siren song. It's so good. No choice but to keep going. Okay, let me kill that one. Okay, okay, I got defensive flourish, so I'm harder to hit now. Let me... Body Inspiration, Kalek. This fight can be really brutal. Okay, you should heal, I think. Well, let me see if I could hit two. I can without hitting car like. Nice. Heal yourself. Okay. <laughs> run, Mercon, run! Oh no, she's going for Mercon! Shit! Oh no, Kalek, not like this! Not you too, Asterion! Okay, I resisted, I resisted. Shit. Um, I have to hit that one. Someone whisper. Let's go. Won't take me yet. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yep, everyone's angry now. Okay. You two! Oh my god, okay, okay. At least, at least, uh, Cheryl Hart resisted it. Nice. Not dead yet? Okay, it's fine. Okay, time to die now. Nice. Not dead yet? Oh well. Now you die. You missed! Ah, 
die. Two HP, come on. Still on my feet. Okay, finish it. Nice. Okay, let me buy the inspiration. Sure. Okay. Uh, she will fireball this one. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go. Kill her. One HP. Nice. Soothe the child with a calming tune. Who? Who are you? I'm Varen's slayer of monsters, teller of tales, savior of you, the pleasure is mine. Wow. <laughs> I'm Mercon. I... Oh no. I... I had to get the gold from the nest. Mole will be so mad. I got to go. Wait, um... You should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Okay. But before that, let me loot all of the harpies. I don't think they have anything. Yeah. Oh, a bone. Fair enough. Okay. Should mind my step. I think this area is safe enough for me to go around and loot. Is there something over here? Oh, there. Hey, what's this? Light crossbow and some gold. I think that's it, right? I think that's it. There's nowhere else I could go from here. Okay. Come on. I'm making sure everyone jump across first before I continue going anywhere. There might be some goodies around here. I'm not sure. I think there's something here. The rib cage. I pick up the rib cage. That's a polished dagger. It's a polished dagger better than. Sarah's dagger. It's the same. It's the same as a normal dagger. Yep, okay, fine. Let's go down here. I don't think there's anyone anything here. Okay, let's go uh, grab the stuff at the Harpy's Nest. Still breathing, despite everything. There's a Harpy here. Okay, and I'll go up here. Have to keep going. If I do not have uh, no nudity turned on. Those harpies will have their best, their, their breast bare. So interesting too. I was, I was thinking about it. Like, did they censor their boobs? Turn out they did. So they're wearing something like a bra. If you have the no nudity turned on, can you go across there? You can. You can.
Okay, then jump across here. And go across here. And here. That's Let's a harpy's nest. Those harpies were hoarding. No gold here. Bones, there's a supply pack for some reason. And the color spray ring. There's a note. Miriam. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've written. A lot has happened. First, some good news. Maggie Two Fingers won't be bothering you anymore. I paid her back in full. I'm sorry. She should never have got your name in the first place. Now for the bad news. My love, I'm not coming home. Not for a while at least. The money came from a mercenary group. Probably best I don't give their name. And I've agreed to, to a couple of jobs in Icewind Dale in return. They pay me upfront because, gods, it's so strange to write it. Because they needed a warlock. They needed me. I took the deal the Cambion offered. I'm not going to say I had no choice because that would be a lie. But I don't regret it. I'm a new man. I feel strong for the first time in my life. Aside from being awoken in the middle of the night by the smell of sulfur, he likes to drop by to see how everything is going. I have no complaints. If you don't reply to this letter, I understand. And if you don't want me to come back at all, well, I understand that too. I love you, Miriam, and I want you to be happy. Even if it's not with me, Edmund. Kinda sad. Pick that up. Uh, there's an inscrutable journal as well. We've found Musharib's instructions so far, but something feels odd. We've encountered no creatures along the way, only alien noises from all directions. Sleep evades us, and the mark on my boots has hardened into a permanent feature. Hopefully we find... Dot, 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 dot. Lost more hair this morning. I knew there were side effects to coming back, but I didn't expect it to be so... Dot, dot, dot. Iraq. I hear him laughing. The lamentations of the Omuans droning like a chorus. What is the purpose of this hellhole? He speaks through the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Is he the tomb? Is he... Dot, dot, dot. On the last legible page is a crudely drawn charcoal outline of a bearded devil's face. Its mouth agape in a silent scream. Pick that up. I think that's it. That's it. I don't think you could go down there. Let me send those to Gale. The I'm sorry notes and the inscrutable journal. Okay. And then... I'm lazy to track my way back, so I'm just going to waypoint to the Emerald and Emerald Grove. And we'll long rest. That's a long rest. We need to do a lot more of the cinematics. I'm so glad I found... Wait! Shit. I'm Alphira. A bard from the grove. I don't mean any harm. Shit. Shit. <laughs> now? This now? Shit. Oh no. Oh no. When was the last time I saved? I have to do the whole... I have to do the whole uh puppy fight again. Shit. Okay, I don't want to do this. But we'll do it just for the sake of having seen this. And then I'll redo the harpy fight. We'll reload to the earlier save and do the harpy fight. Okay? We'll do this just for the fact, uh, just for, just to see what happens. I've never actually seen this cinematic myself before, but I, I know what it is. Is something wrong? Are the tieflings alright? Oh, yes. Everything is fine. Thanks to you. That's why I'm here. When I'd heard what you'd done, it... 
inspired me. Made me feel brave again. I want to join you. To fight by your side. I want to help people. As you've helped us. It's safer for you at the Grove. True. But I'm a bard, remember? I want to do more than sing about other people's adventures. I want to make my own stories. And I can't think of anyone else I'd rather share that with. Oh, there's no... You may join me, I'd love to have you. Really? Just like that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Really? Just like that? Alright. But if she reaches for that loot, it's firewood. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Oh dear. Oh dear. Can I say what everyone has to say about this? Copper for your thoughts. Right. They don't have anything to say about Alphira, okay? I can't wait to hit the road. Where will we go? Neverwinter? Oh, can we go to Waterdeep? Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take it one note at a time, as my teacher would say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, no one has anything to say about up. this, huh? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Yep. Okay. I suppose there's nothing else we could do but sleep. Then. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Uh uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Investigate your surroundings, look for an explanation. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? Um... Oh my god. Wonder. What curse is in your heart to kill in your sleep? Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Mm -hmm. uh... Should we hide the body? <laughs> Try to hide the body. Oh, I feel shit. Her guts start to spill and flow everywhere as you shift her. Mm hmm Oh, you gave up already? So quick? You wonder if your misdeed will be noticed. You wonder, huh? Kyla is slipping off, <laughs> off of a bedroll. Another 
waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? Um, no, it's not. <laughs> I'll tell the truth. I don't know what happened. I woke up and she was dead. This blood didn't get there on its own. Her neck didn't snap by any accident. The parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper. Hungrier. Um, I don't know. It could have been the tadpole. Even if it was the worm? This was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air as the Inquisition departs. You are left alone with a familiar headache. Hmm. Wow, the giggle one? Giggle, the only joy greater than mother is to get away with it. Damn. Okay, I will vow. You will gain control. You will save the next innocent. Every one of your instincts screams against the saccharine thought. You feel close to fainting again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, God. <laughs> her body is just here. Oh, damn. I can loot her. <laughs> I can loot her loot. A rip. Can I can I speak with death to her? The corpse regards you. Oh, I can. Lifelessly. Uh, do you have any valuables? The hardest suit. Where is? Where? Uh, who is Lihala? Teacher, friend. Everything to me, but Nolth ripped her apart. Do you come here alone? With Liana, but, but... Where were you going? Elfsong Tavern, Baldur's Gate. Why the Elfsong Tavern? To perform there. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Let's redo that. Let, uh... I'll not save this, although I already auto-saved, but... But we, we will undo, we will undo what we did to... To Alfira. There is a way. There is a way to undo that. We're doing the harpy fight again because I, I don't want to kill Alfera. Shh. Listen. No. No. Unfortunately before Unfortunately the, the save before uh that that happened is here. So we have to do the happy fight again. Wait, is Shadowheart not in the fight? Oh my god, Shadowheart! You fight well. Nice. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Okay, if the Alfira thing is happening now, we'll have to go meet her first. Or we could go talk to Donnie about the Dragon Slayer. Yeah, yeah, we could do that first. Donnie is this one. Seems like a good moment to talk. Mmm. Mm. Where the hell did you disappear to before? Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. 
He's trying to tell you something, but you can't make any sense of it. Because I'm dumb. Uh, Johnny, isn't it? I want to see the dragon slayer. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. <laughs> uh, we'll leave him alone. Okay, uh, we haven't like finished the, the quest for Arabella as well. The druids don't care about us. No one does. Okay, let's talk to the parents. We have to look up. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. I'm glad she's safe. Um, no more like fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean... Thank you for helping me. Hmm. Nice. Stop. I was fine. Because of you, I got my little girl back. That's not something I'll forget. Take care of her, okay? The road to Baldur's Gate looks a little less daunting now that we're all back together. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I'm never gonna hear the end of this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If I'd got that stupid idol, I'd be a hero. No, you're not. What kind of hero do you expect to be? A heroic thief? Mum? Dad, Mole? They all would have been so impressed. Mole said we had to do something. Because the old folks weren't doing anything. Because they know better. They were talking when the druids were getting ready to throw us out. Why can't we just stay until it's safe? Kids. What were you thinking? Was Kids. Okay, let's go through the concealed yeah. hatch. Let's go into the Dragon Slayer. And meet more. There's more. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Thank you. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. Happy to help. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? That's sarcasm, though. Uh... What are you doing down in this cave? Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. Thought you might need help with something. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. Are you sure? An idol? What do you do with something like that? The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Hmm. Mm, Call me out, I'm not getting involved. Figures. Don't think you've got the stones for the job anyhow. Anything I else? It almost got Arabella killed. I don't think it's worth it to steal it. You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. It's not worth the risk. If the tieflings and the and the druids are on such shaky ground already, stealing it would be worse. When do I get to run the rings? There's a book here. The guild hidden oh, rulers of Baldur's Gate. Okay, I have to say it's stealing, but I'll read it. The book's central argument is encapsulated in a chapter devoted to Vilsa Rael, guild kingpin of Little Kalimshan. In another time and another place, Vilsa Rael would be celebrated as a revolutionary in Baldur's Gate in her own lifetime. She is known as a crime lord, a kingpin of the guild, 
ruling over the city within the city that is the district of Little Kalimshan. Rilsa's story began when she was orphaned at a young age. Her father was hanged by the Flaming Fist for sheltering his fugitive brother. Soon after, her mother was denounced by the jealous wife of a patriarch and imprisoned in the sea tower where she perished. Alone in the world, she had learned two valuable lessons. When the law is corrupt, it is necessity for those without the support of its enforcers to act outside it. And when the law is brutal, it is an ethical duty to act against it. Operating from within the Kalim Jewel Emporium, Rosa knows the value of everything and everyone that moves through Baldur's Gate. She controls a wide network of agents who observe and track the exchange of goods and information as closely as any merchant or politician. But second-hand knowledge is cheap. Rilsa's real trick is to draw those with secrets to share directly into her orbit. At her Garden of Whispers, information can be shared with the guild anonymously. Anyone with a grudge to bear or a competitor to bring low, that is to say, anyone of importance, can ensure that the whole city knows their grievance. It is said that if somebody speaks of your weak spot in the garden at dawn, you can expect to find a knife buried in the exact spot before night falls. Brutal. Okay, let's talk to them. You don't look so tough. Malfoy of a hobgoblin all by herself. Hmm. Is that how she got wounded? I miss the Thank you. Already. You're the first grown-up who's ever gotten in here. Not bad. Thank you. Let's talk to Mercon. You came! I have... Here! Mole said I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. Oh? Ah. Aren't you a clever one? That's very kind. It's about you. I hope you like it. Oh, a fanfic. A fanfic? About me? Makan's story. Makan's present to you. Describing how you saved him from the harpies and how he thinks you were amazing. Once there was a boy on the beach, spelled wrongly. He saw there was a harpy nest. He was a good, he was a very good climber. He wanted to climb to the top and steal from the harpy nest. But the harpy was very mean. She sang a song and the boy forgot what he was doing. But then an adventurer passed by. The adventurer was very strong and killed the harpy in one blow and saved the boy. The boy was very cold and scared. He was standing in the water so he was very cold. But the adventurer had saved him. The boy thought the adventurer was amazing. The boy wanted to be like the adventurer. He wanted to be strong and save people and never be scared again. Just like the adventurer. The end. <laughs> that was cute. That was a nice one. Okay, what other books I can find in here? Uh, that's this one. Fables of Faerun Tree, the Enticing Elder. Read. There was once two sisters, one a great fighter and one a great cleric, who longed for new adventure. Own that town. I shall skewer an elder brain upon my sword, cried the fighter, to the underdark. I wish to know the secrets of the brain's powers, said the cleric. Let us be off. In the recesses of the deep, the sisters slew darklings and darrow, bugbears and bullets. I miss the adventurers already. The two reached an illiterate colony when the fourth ten day passed. Their quest would soon be complete. With great effort, they felled a half dozen mine flayers and soon reached the elder brain's lair. It rose from the brine pool at the center of its chamber, flanked by illiterates. The brain didn't speak aloud, but the sisters could hear it in their minds. I'm called Kaos. Why have you come? I will make your powers my own, called the cleric. I will crush you and bring an end to your tyranny, said the fighter. The brain hovered in silence. A moment later, a burst of psionic energy shook the chamber, and the sisters lay dead. Good luck, Kaos replied. The elitids feast heartily that day. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's the two books I read here. Let's go back up. 
<laughs> you should hold a spelling competition down there. The winners get to live. Oh my god. Mercar will be the first to go. Oh my god. That will be brutal. Okay. Um, okay, let's go find... Yeah, we were supposed to go find Alfera. <laughs> Winner just won? Oh no. I think everyone would die except maybe Mole. Although Mole probably won't let that happen. Oh, there's fish. Fish? A fishing rod and a note here. Scribbled note. Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy, lazy enough as is. Okay, okay. Oh. What? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say. For your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> They do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. What gave you the way, Salad? Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There. Middle of somewhere. I don't like this at all. Hmm. You'll be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Is that a threat? But I'll ignore him and fill my plate. Not easily rattled, I see. Good. Makes the next part that much more straightforward. No, Salad. As you can see, no. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Fuck. A cambion. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. What makes you think I need saving? Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpoled head? One skull. Two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Hmm. 
You're mad if you think I'll make a deal with the devil. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. That's what separates us from the devil, soldier. They think our greatest strength is a weakness. Hmm. Is he an imp or just a simp? You might be right. He might be a simp. And if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? Nah, that doesn't sound like it. Take me back. After that, I never want to see you again. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms sundering skin dissolving guts they haven't manifested yet have they one might say you're a paragon of luck i'll be there when it runs out well i got food what food did i get Wine, cheese, and bread. Nice. Okay, let me save real quick. I've never had him appear here before, which is interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, let's let's find Alfira here. Let's talk to the scribbles. It hurts! It hurts! Please! <laughs> Stop. Sola, what's wrong? Can't you hear it? Her singing. It's awful. Terrible. Is it really though? Uh sing along with the bard as loudly and as off key as you can or i could sing for them improvising lyrics how can we stop this dreadful song how form verse from devil's tongue yes yes that's it finally a song to set our heads straight after that display we should leave before the effect wears off away 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 <laughs> you're bringing lost check yep I'm sure it doesn't sound so bad. Let's listen. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. Hmm. I have a uh, bard options. I could sing. Words of mine will turn to ash. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Ah, I could continue as well. Continue singing. Moon reminds me of your grace. Moon reminds me of your grace. I can't repay. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. Wait, that's it. Turn to ash when you call 
Hey. Thank you. I was having trouble finding the words. Hmm. Finding the words is an important part of being a singer, you know. Sorry. Damn it. It's all right. Lay it all out. I don't usually. I'm all right. I haven't finished a song since Lihala died. I haven't played at all, if I'm honest. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Hmm. Well, you've come up with a fine tribute to her. Thanks. Lehala made me love music. The sound, the feel, the thrill. But when she died, it was gone. Until now, I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch in my fingers to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to her. Thank you. I... I needed this. Too sweet, odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. <laughs> Losing your hair while she's singing. Well, I'm going to do something to her now. In a bit. Uh, in a bit. It's, it's for her own good, I swear. There's a chest here. Ah. I don't have a key for that. Did I not get the key from down there? Okay. Um, let me see. There's folk, folk songs of Feyrun. The book's a clear work in progress, though already extensive, chronicling various musical styles and notations from across Feyrun. Amid the orderly symbols and blackened ink, one page stands out. It is awash in colour and meandering arcs. The script below reads, My Knit Song by Okma. I hear it and I see it and I know it and I feel it. But can I write it or can I? Okay. Pick up. Uh, send that to Gail. I've read that. Send it to Gail as well. This one to send it to Gail. Macron story sent it to Gail. What's this? Half torn note. Uh, yes, the Kaga stuff. Uh, I should keep that on me for now. Okay, we'll do something. We'll save first. We will do something to to Alfira. Although I've never done this before. Like obviously, I've never played. Uh, a dark urge before, but I'm going to do this now. Ah! Your violence is drawing the wrong kind of attention. Keep going, and there might be trouble. <laughs> yes, I'm going to keep going. Ah! Your actions have not gone unnoticed. If they persist, it seems they will not go unpunished. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I use Kalek instead. Not attack Kalek. Kalek 
target hits harder. Your actions are pushing tempers to the limit. Persist, and things may get out of hand. Your actions are pushing tempers to the limit. Just getting more Persist, and more bruised. Things may get out of hand. Okay. What to do? That's it. That's that's all Should I'm going to do to her. Okay. <laughs> hey, she's knocked out. Okay. Okay. Let's see if uh, anyone will aggro me down here. Okay, I'm not getting aggro. Okay, good. I'll 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 long rest. <laughs> Silent. Willing, some friendly faces. Hello, who are you? Well met. Goblins roughed me up and stole my hose when they heard me singing Hatchling Love. <laughs> you wouldn't have half a bedroll for a lost minstrel, would you? I can pay for my board with music if you care for it. Um, who are you? Quill Grootslang. Soon to be published in the songbook affairs in ancient Abir, songs of draconic love. <laughs> uh, if I make it to Baldur's Gate with my manuscript, that is. Uh, it's dangerous out there to be traveling on your own. <sighs> I know. It's not the first time I've been robbed. I am only glad I didn't get hurt. Um... Our hearth is open and there is safety beside it. I'll just stay one night. Promise. Then I'll be gone. I know I'm ice blood, but I, I get cold so fast. I need to be by the fire. Okay, that's all right. You've been robbed, even your pants? Pinky promise if you haven't. She's been robbed until that she doesn't even have a dress or pants left. Poor thing. She's your type? Wow, salad. <laughs> a song to your ear. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't think they'll react to Quill good slang. Can't believe that devil just took us into the hells with a snap of his fingers. If I see him again. I'll wring his neck. Mm, they'll be commenting about uh, Raphael instead. Uh, I enjoy watching that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew I liked you. <laughs> Raphael was his name, right? He's trying to lure us into a game he knows we can't win. I'm not playing. Glad you're not either. Mm hmm. Okay. That's all I could talk to her about. Let's talk to all of them about Raphael. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Hmm. We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. If we don't know what we're walking into, that bridge will collapse under us. The devil has a plan. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. Someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. We're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it, and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Okay. What does they still have to say about Raphael? This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. 
You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above Hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Nicely, Sim. Uh, Kithrak, what does that mean? Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. Okay. Why were these knights chasing the Mind Flayer ship? The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackest sight pierces the many planes. I think Lazel's ears are point here. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Hmm. With the, with the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. Hmm. Don't worry, I have no interest in the devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you have experience, Will. Please write to the public Wi-Fi connection. The internet. Seven. The internet. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> you have a strange definition of flattery. Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. You're right. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. But what is it that this devil wants so very badly? Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. True, true. What do you think Raphael's ambition could be? <coughs> the but, based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Growing our nails, we shall see. Also, thank you, thank you. A little, a little bit 
leafly today. Look, look, Spotty, we got we got a doggo. Hope you're keeping well, friend. And we can pet him. We must keep doggo safe. Even if you defeat Raphael, you will have to fight his brother, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo. No! <laughs> hey, who haven't we talked with? Uh, we haven't talked to Shadowheart. About Raphael. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one, too. I'm sure. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Hmm. He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. Simple as that. No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. Are you... Are you trying to change my mind? <laughs> these, these unsure options. I've changed my mind, I must admit, I'm feeling less sure. I'm feeling less sure all of a sudden. Okay, I'm not going to just change my mind. We can't trust Raphael. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. She, she's trying to bamboozle us, is it? I didn't realize you were so well versed in mental and emotional torment. Aren't you glad that I am? It's an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Okay. You need moisture. She needs moisturizer, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Okay. Let's go to bed and see what happens. I think we've talked to everyone, right? Yeah. That's too much food. Come on. Uh, okay, we'll split this one. Confirm. And we take one. There. You open your eyes with a lurch. And you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that scared girl who asked for nothing more than a night of shelter. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. Try hard to remember something, anything. Oh, 12. I'll see it. I can't remember anything. The throbbing in your skull will hardly let you think. Let alone remember. Investigation. Investigate your surroundings. Look for an explanation. It is easier. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? Uh... I could wonder what curse is it in your heart or to kill in your sleep. Push the thoughts away you'd rather not know. Refuse to believe this was your doing. Admire this beautiful death. Connect to your parasite. Is it responsible? We could do this. The little worm seems silent. Oh no. Your companions sleep blissfully tonight. 
If it were the rage of a tadpole, no others seem to be affected. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Ah, uh, what should we do? What should we do with the body? We could seek out the nearest water to wash the blood away. We could try to hide the body. Prepare to face the others you aren't going to hide or go back to sleep. Go back to sleep? <laughs> go back, just go back to sleep like that. I could wash the blood away and say it's not me. Too early for this thing. Yeah, yeah it's... You, you're, been, you're awake too early to deal with this, right? What should we think we should do, except just go back to sleep? Sleep is more important! <laughs> we'll try to hide the body, okay? We'll try to hide the body. Oh my god, I'm only strength plus one, oh shit. I succeeded? A light and delicate girl. There should be no trouble at all to toss her into a ditch. You roll her away, further bloodying your hands as you do. In lumbering style, you have gotten away with murder. Damn. Damn. I have gotten away with murder? <laughs> Save the lady from her despair. I've gotten away with murder. I'm okay. For for Dark Urge, this is unavoidable. So this murder is un unavoidable. The only thing we could change is who we could kill. So, uh, that random dragonborn just now is a stranger. It's a total stranger that has nothing to do with anyone else. She doesn't appear in the rest of the game. She is the backup victim if the primary victim is not available. So, uh, I think... Our primary victim might have left. She's gone. Um, let we could check. She's still there. Okay, okay, she's still there. This is this is a dark urge thing. So, so Alfira is still alive. So if you play dark urge, uh. No. If we play Dark Urge and uh, killing Alfira is. It, it will happen. So. I. She. Alfira is the one that is more important because she will appear in later parts of the game. So, Alfira staying alive is more important. So just now, I knocked out Alfira, so she won't appear in my camp. That's what I say when I was trying to, going to do some bad things to her, but it's to save her life. So when Alfira is knocked out, then that backup uh, Dragonborn will appear, and then you will kill her instead of Alfira. Because the Dark Urge will take over for that one scene and it is in unavoidable it will happen so sweet right 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 i saved alfira right blood for blood but i i wonder if, what will alfira say when i talk to her i did harm her yesterday what's up for discussion it's still rough but my song is getting there she seems okay with me but I did knock her out with Kalek though. Time for a natter. 
It's still rough, but my song is getting there. Hey, hey, hey. Seems like she's not angry that we knocked it out Breathe at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Move. Yes, she's focusing on her music career in view. Oh, you're sleeping now too? Okay, let's uh let's cast this. Speak with animals. You're curious. You got a great many odors about you. What happened to you? Um Tell him about your journey. He listens wrapped, hanging on every word. As you near the end of your tale, you see his attention drift as he licks his lips, thinking about something else entirely. Okay, I think that's all of the adventuring we're doing today because it's 2.30. Holy shit, it's 